or underachieving hustlers decide to step up their game and target an exotic car dealer and his newest acquisition, a million dollar Porsche 918. The heist goes off without a hitch until they discover they've stolen the wrong car. The shipping crate they hijacked contains the remains of the little bastard, James Dean's fabled Porsche 550 Spider. Missing for over 50 years, the little bastard is worth a fortune on the black market. Bidders all across the globe compete for the prize and the price soars. But in the end, only the wealthiest bidder prevails. Our hustlers' excitement is short-lived when they find out who they've actually stolen from. Harry Lipschitz, one of the underworld's most ruthless kingpins. Legend has it that Harry likes to torture his victims with razor-sharp garden tools before they disappear forever. So, with every gun-toting hot rod in the city now on their trail, our hustlers will have to work their way through a cast of outlandish characters in order to offload the little bastard and get the hell out of Dodge or die trying. So I was approached with this script, Lucky Bastards. It was written by uh, Scott and Ed, and they have just remarkable skills and talent. Their story structure is strong. I just finished watching a documentary on James Dean's Porsche 550 Spider, The Little Bastard. It talked all about the legend and the folklore of this vehicle that's been missing for 50 years. Yeah, I mean, that's the holy grail. That's the thing totally. that totally makes this story. And I was asked to read it. I read it and I thought, oh my God, this script delivers on its promise. It's really good. It's funny from page one. Immediately, people jumped on board on this project. We have Mark Isham composing the music and or involved with the score and the sound, and he's a remarkable award-winning composer. We have Teron Lexton, a remarkable director of photography, who is jumping on board as well and wants to photograph the hell out of this thing. I was laughing out loud constantly while reading the script, and I just thought, oh my God, this is... This is it. This is going to be a breakthrough movie. Amazing cars, locations, all of that stuff. And we have Rob Edwards going to make the mock-ups of the cars for us. This is an all-aluminum beauty right here with an exact replica of what was made in 1955. I was enthralled with this movie. We're able to create an exact replica of the crash car for this film. It's a lot of work. It will seem like the real car. History is going to come back. Got it. Lee Raskin, renowned author and expert on all things Dean and Little Bastard, who is supporting the production and going to be providing some technical insight. Got yeah. guys like Ingo uh, Pa. Uh, yeah, Alloy Cars, yep. uh, Cam Crocker from Cop Foy Barcore. Got Mark Hubbard here in Scottsdale, yeah. Arizona with the Hubbard Auto Center. Beautiful backdrop supporting the film. This will be one of the locations that you'll see in the movie. Uh, Roger Garbo. Roger Garbo, oh, writer yeah. for a number of auto magazines. This movie is going to be really successful because of car people. Look around me. This is just a casual gathering on a Sunday morning here in New Canaan, Connecticut. I called the guys and said, what can I do to help? I want to get involved and help you with this film. I can't wait to see it. You're going to like it too. It's going to be one wild ride. The excitement, the enthusiasm. What we discover is every person we talk to about this picture leans forward and says, when can I read the script? How can I get a hold of it? That sounds amazing. How can I participate? How can I help? The chemistry of this thing is hot. It's really, really hot. You know, guys, we couldn't be more excited to embark on this journey for the entire 550 community, for Dean fans, and for lovers of awesome heist films. Yeah. You know. Come with us on this ride. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely. I've had the privilege of being involved with some remarkable movies in my past and some of the best uh, directors and writers and artists on the planet over the last several decades. And uh, I stand behind Ed and Scott and this production team uh, and we're gonna do a, a remarkable job with this movie. After seeing the package the Fire City team has assembled and the incredible potential and market reach this film has, we think you'll agree. Getting involved with this production makes you one Lucky bastard.